Sure, can we just all agree that the email blast is dead? Email blasting everybody, this is what 90% of everybody in here is guilty of, is we just take the entire list and we say, fire it all, fire it all after, just, just do it all. If you're seeing your list fatigue, it's because of this fourth point. So what you can do is you can leverage what I think is gonna be a massive game changer. So the future of email, in my opinion, is one-to-one -one automated emails at the right time and right place. So you have your email list that you just generated. You've got your KPIs all set. You know you've got good active leads that are engaging your product. You've got buyers because you've been selling and trying to grow your business. You've learned how to segment this and learn how to use automated email sequences to gather more information. And now we want to go and ask ourselves, who are we bringing to the party? And this is what Agora does. They have a framework where they cast a big idea or a big event that's gonna happen in the future. You can do this with e-commerce, you can do this if you're an education company, you can just create a big idea that you're going to share and it could be in the form of a release date of a report, it could be the release date of a product, it could be a webinar, it could be an actual physical event, but you gotta go and segment who are you going after. Can we just all agree that the email blast is dead? Email blasting everybody, this is what 90% of everybody in here is guilty of, is we just take the entire list and we say, fire it all, fire it all after, just, just do it all. You can tap everybody on your list, but do it with being smarter and more tactful. Because when you can do that, you can get personal, you can start to customize this party and create the hype that this person is gonna be excited about. They wanna know who else is gonna be there. They want to know, how big is it going to be? Well, you know, are you going? Last night, all of us had all those text messages. Where are you? Where are you? Are you coming? Are you going to go over here? That's exactly what you want your email list atmosphere to be. So here's the framework that they use. They first start off with a three-week lead time. Three-week lead time of a big idea that they, they, they promote. And they do it softly. They usually will tease the information out in the newsletter or send out one dedicated email that says, hey, I have this big thing, you should know about it. 10 days before the event, they have these email sequences. They open the registration for this event. Then they do a three day and then they do zero day. Every engagement that you're having with your list is the people that we are going to start to segment out that are gonna become this buyer list. They're gonna be the people that you're actually going to sell the day of the actual event. And what we wanna to try to do is maximize your actual engagement. Some ways that you could do that is if you're running an actual webinar or event to sell your products or service, by far, the last six months, I mean, the last 18 months really, has been a roller coaster for all of us. And some of us have been killing it because COVID's been amazing for our businesses. Some of us, it's been difficult, and now they're killing it for our businesses. The objective here as marketers is to be dynamic, to be ready for change. And so creating webinars is one of the leading tactics. I know it sounds like an old school strategy, but email and webinar power is unmatched. So there's a really great little tool too, I wish I could go into this more, called the Trust Funnel. The Trust Funnel is a way for you to get into your psyche of your customers by providing unbelievable value in a four part video and on that fourth video you sell. And it's released and dripped to them every single day. It's also another powerful way for you to get more insight and more data. Put countdowns in emails. Put countdowns in your emails. So the pregame, when you're getting everybody excited and creating this atmosphere, your job is to do these things. Excite, tease, make it exclusive, have it be timely, and remind, remind, remind. If you're not doing these things, you're missing out completely on the whole point of creating this buyer frenzy that I'm talking about. So scaling is the next topic. And this is what I think the future of email is gonna be all about. It's gonna be with inbox mailing. So if you're taking emails from content to conversion, here are some of the things that you can do. Here's the math. And I don't think a lot of us in here are trying to run these numbers, but these are the numbers that you can start to do with the segments of your audience. So the average email list size is 50,000 subscribers. Now some of you said, I have a million subscribers. I have two million subscribers. I'm talking about engaged, actually engaged. And I go, like about a 14 day window. That's my engagement. Sometimes I'll go 30, but I wanna know what the, who's engaged with my emails, opened and clicked in the last 14 days. So you send out four emails per week. That's 200,000 emails. Your open rate's 40,000, so 80,000 people are seeing your emails, and you're gonna generate 100 sales per week. That's one sale for every 2,500 emails sent. If your numbers are better, great. This is 
in general. Your numbers are worse, that's okay, you can get them better. It depends on the size of the product, or I should say the price of the product and how big it is. But are you tracking your numbers on this last point right here? How many sales are you generate per emails that are hitting the inbox? The idea behind inbox mailing and where the future of all of marketing is going is being able to leverage the right time, right place, with the right message. What if I told you that there was a way that you can increase your open rates by 70%? You can actually increase your emails, the sales on your emails, by 300% and also increase your reputation score. You can do this by having the relevancy metrics applied to your inbox. Now this is another big point. There are four different places your customers are at at any given time. The first one is the holy grail. You have a product or service that's for me right now. You have a product or service that's for me, but I don't need it right now. I need something right now, but that's not the product or service I need. And then you have, this isn't for me, and this is definitely not the right timing. These are the four quadrants. We've all been to a mall where someone's trying to spray perfume on you or cologne or have you tried the face wash or something like that and everyone just kind of avoids them. It's because it's not for you and it's not the right time. You don't want your emails to be the exact same way, do you? And it doesn't have to be. This is the craziest thing to me when I'm talking with my clients and I look at what they're doing in their inboxes and they're just doing this last point. They're sending things out that they have no idea if they want or not want. And they're pissing off their customers and they're getting unsubscribes and they're not getting repeat buyers and they're doing the exact opposite. If you're seeing your list fatigue, it's because of this fourth point. So what you can do is you can leverage what I think is gonna be a massive game changer. There's a company, this is a completely separate company, it's called Inbox Mailers. Inbox Mailers is changing the game. What they're doing, check this out. What they're doing is when you, they're putting a pixel inside of your newsletters. This is you guys doing this. You would put a pixel inside of your newsletters, inside of every one of your emails that you're sending out. All of them, starting today. Put the pixel in there. What happens is, is that inbox mailers is going to get pinged when someone opens up your email. And when they open up that email, they get a ping and they're gonna ping your ESP. So if you're using Clavio, SendGrid, they're gonna ping your ESP and they're, you can send an email to somebody while they're reading an email from you. Like, absolutely at the exact same time. Right time, right message, right place. The problem with email is that you don't know if they're in their inbox or not, if they're looking in or not, and so it gets buried. That's why we all send out our emails at what time? 6 a.m. We all know the times and dates. I could go into all the different tactics to do, that you can do, but nothing, I mean nothing beats when you get somebody right there, right now. And what they're seeing is a 364% increase in open rates. With 70% less emails that have to be sent and a 309% increase in click volume. The sales are going through the roof. So this is how that works. You install the code, it opens up, it sends out an email to you, or uh, uh, pings your inbox. So you can send an automated email out. Why I wanted to go and break down the power of getting personal is, do you want to just send any promo at any time just because someone's got their inbox open? You can, but why would you? By getting personal, by understanding their biggest problems, by creating a huge, big vision for them that you can riff on in your emails and you have a product service that they need, you can start creating campaigns based off the segmenting that you just did. And that's where the power goes. And what they're doing and what other companies are gonna be doing too is that there's gonna be a whole new industry and I'm calling it the 10x multiplier. Of all the channels we have the most control over, all the channels, this is the highest converting one. For every dollar you invest in email, you're gonna get $42 back. So what they're doing is they're opening up a network where you can open up your list and everybody else can open up their list. You don't get access to anyone's list. It's just open to the pixel data up. And so if someone opens up a Starbucks email, you'd be able to go and send somebody a email that is perfectly timed for a coffee mug that you sell or for a coffee machine or something else that you want at the exact same time. Imagine the power of utilizing and leveraging a network that actually communicated this pixel together. That's exactly what this thing can do. So the future of email, in my opinion, is one-to-one -one automated emails at the right time and right place.